So I moved in 72, me, my husband, and I had two kids then. It was clean. Uh, the stairwells were clean. There were lights. It was, we had a baby playground and a big playground. Uh, there were benches, grass. It was beautiful. I mean, it was really nice. 20 years later, life at Henry Horner has changed. To a passerby, it's hard to tell whether the buildings are occupied or abandoned. The janitors no longer live in the buildings like they used to, and so repairs are made very slowly, if they're made at all. Simple things like light fixtures, plumbing, laundry facilities haven't been fixed in years. It took over 12 months just to replace a mailbox. Do you ride the elevator or take the stairs? If the stairways are lit, it's safer than taking the elevator. But the hallways are dark so often, the children growing up think that's just the way it's supposed to be. It's very hard because you're bringing up kids in, in a very uh, negative world. It's very negative because you have to do the best you can, you have to teach them, and you have to put all you can into them. But being single and bringing kids up and living in CHA, living with the gangs, the drugs, the rats, the roaches, is very hard. Because then you have to explain to your child, well, why do we have to live like this here? And that's not easy to explain to them. If I'm renting a place or whether I'm buying or not, it's still my property because I'm living here. I got to live here. And I want where I live to be a decent place to live. That's one of the main reasons I got involved in the Mother Year, to uh, help the youngsters, you know, to uh, appreciate where they live at and to try to get them to come in to, you know, to beautify, to get involved in beautifying where they live at and respect where they live. The women of the Henry Horner Mothers Guild teach their children individual responsibility and the difference between right and wrong. They've acted upon these values in meetings with Chicago Housing Authority officials, but were met with indifference or unkept promises. And so now, represented by the Legal Assistance Foundation of Chicago, they're filing a class action lawsuit against CHA for excessive code violations and vacancy rates as much as 70% in some buildings. The Henry Horner Mothers Guild believes that CHA should be held to the same legal responsibilities and standards as other Chicago landlords. They believe that it's wrong for their children and families to have to live like this. If I have to live here and my kids are here, then I'm going to fight too. Because I have to fight with the gang every day. I have to fight with the drug addict. The lice, the trash, the elevator, the stairway, the rats, the roaches. This, the whole, let's show a clear picture. This is the clear picture here. This is the clear picture of CHA. The, the living condition of CHA. To let everyone know. Should have been.